I'm a little bit ticked off at myself. What is this racing music? Speeding down the highway, Chloe Price. Here we go. Okay. Going towards the hill, I guess. Be honest, Chloe. You would you were the one speeding. And for some reason, you managed to stop so here. So much destruction. All because Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied. About something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I think you didn't. I think you didn't. You didn't have to. You didn't. Right? Would you love me less? Of course not. Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure Mom would never fall in love with someone like David, too. Oh, hard hitting. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Probably not. Yeah, but go on. Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? And he's not there. Fucking knew it. That's a setup, all right. I guess it's better this way, not knowing. Then I'll always be the perfect dad? How many people get to say that? No word. My ride, my tunes. <sighs> Am I seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. Never. I like the company. Oh. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things what? are about to get real. You don't want to miss me confronting Damon Merrick? God damn it. God fucking damn it, Chloe. You know what, I appreciate a long, long episode of like something. It's been nearly three hours of this now. Ah oh boy. Frank's here. Shit. 
Is that blood? Jeez, Frank. Frank? Frank! Ah, oh, hell. Shit, this is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. So how did Frank become the asshole in the first game? Well, the main game. Wait, what's going on? Oh, I have entered the mill. Shit. Where the hell is Sarah? All right. Oh, that's three. Okay. That was the last one, right? I'm starting to think that lying is contagious. One lie leads to another. And before you know it, there's an epidemic. Case in point, Rachel's dad. Remember when I told you how he lied to Rachel, but then the truth about her mom came out? Yeah, about that. Guess the hardcore security should have tipped me off. I managed to break into his desk. That's where another lie starts to pour out. I found letters from Sarah to Rachel, letters to James never showed her, never mentioned. And these checks James had been sending to Sarah? Bullshit, she's been sending them back. This lying asshole has even been working with Damon fucking Merrick of all people. I had to lie too by pretending to be James. It's crazy. I burned actual evidence, which means I probably should burn this journal too. Then I ratted out the bouncer and let me into the firewalk show. I felt bad, but I had to find Sarah quick. Finally, I found a stack of money that Damon's been waiting for James to give him in exchange for hurting Sarah, I think. How can people be so fucked up? I almost wish I could forget everything I found today. Almost. Because now I know where Sarah is and nothing's gonna stop me from getting to her. Liar of liars. Max, you know that the poem goes like, some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice, and fire is supposed to be desire and ice is supposed to be hatred? Yeah, put me down for one of each. Elliot's been follow Elliot's followed me to Rachel's house. Turns out he's been I don't know, watching me? Or at least paying close attention to what I've been up to with Rachel. And he does not approve. I had no idea Elliot had this side of to him. He truly hates Rachel, and at one point he literally refused to let me leave until I saw the truth about her. He was psycho rage angry. I was afraid and I didn't have time to talk to him, so I got the bright idea to secretly call 911 when he wasn't looking. And it backfired big time. Elliot caught on to what I was doing and even got madder. He cornered, but I broke the window, set off the Amber security alarm. That got him away pretty quick. Truth is, I almost feel bad for Elliot. He made the terrible decision to be, become obsessed with me. I just have way more important shit to deal with right now. Chloe, the invader of creepos. So, the thin line between real life and dream life I've been telling you about? I think it just disappeared. I saw my dad again. This time I was awake. At least, I think I was. One moment I was speeding along in my truck, and the next moment I was standing in a burned out forest talking to him. I wanted to know if he'd ever lie to me, the way James did to Rachel. But he couldn't tell me. I suppose that's one advantage of being dead. I, I, if dreams can blend with reality, then I guess nightmares can too. That's exactly what the mill feels like right now. Frank's RV's here, smeared with blood. Really hope Frank's okay, but I have to get to Rachel's mom. I don't know what I find, but I have to, for Rachel. Oh, hang on. 
I'm planning supper. What time you'll be home? Don't wait for me. So I'm looking for unheeded warning. Warning signs? It says don't mess with Damon Merrick. <laughs> there we go. Wait. Don't tell me what to do. Wait, that's the warning. Let me tag it. Fucking bong. Glad to see the bone made it. Awesome. Don't tell me what to do. I guess that's not the warning then. Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? Frank's couch is toast. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. Carve up. There we go. This is the first time I got them all. I'm not afraid. I got them fucking all. Was you or me? It wasn't personal. The police. No. Metal Gear time. Shh. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand why does Your he- Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know the mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I got your money. I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, just let her go, and I won't say- <sighs> Dude, what the fuck, man? No! Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. <sighs> what the fuck? Fuck. You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! <laughs> No. Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with- Damon! What did you do? 
ho, 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 ho. I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Oh, Jesus, my head. Sarah. Rachel. Your daughter. She... Welcome to the Zoomscape. Price. You know who I am? I saw you in the play. You were funny. What's going on? Thanks. Sit. Sarah. Are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. Know about what? What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. That's bullshit. Th that's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar! James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. She deserves to meet you. And just what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? I didn't say we were broken the same way. You're here now. That's what matters. What do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I... No loss. I lost both. I guess it's like who's more important. And I think Chloe got over her dad. A couple of years ago, my best friend left me. Oh shit, it's Max. Didn't write. Didn't call. Like I never existed. Friends, come and go, Chloe. Not like this. We were... I thought we were gonna be friends forever. I... was wrong. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear gone 
No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. Because Rachel needs you. I, I... I don't know anything about addiction. But I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs her family. You're her family. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. I thought my dad was perfect. I used to think my dad was perfect. But now I realize he was probably just as messed up as everyone. And it doesn't make me love him any less. That's a nice thought. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? Remember your letter. The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. Of course I you did. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. Oh, this is a so shit situation. Tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait, so Wait. this is real? I'll take care of her. I'll take care of her, you know. Oh, boy. I believe you. Goodbye, Chloe. Jeez. That was real? So what happened between Frank and uh, what's his what's his face? Hello. Chloe, 
Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right up. Wait, so what happened between Frank and Damon? How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. Mm. We never actually escaped. Did we? No. We've got time. Well. All the time in the world. Eventually. So, how did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Oh my goodness. The tech. Oh, this is tough. This is almost like the um, save Chloe or save Arcadia Bates choice again. My finger is actually over B. Oh. oh, I love you too much, Rachel, to to tell you the truth and break you. Hey. Oh, I feel it's terrible wrong. pushing that. I failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Honey, you seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah. Me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. M maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know wherever she is. She loves you very much. How do you know that? I just do. Because Why should she be any different from the rest of us? Wow. That's a... Uh... Is this an epilogue? Shit. Hey, Frank. Did you fucking kill him? Whoa. Like, it was like the game was loading something or something. Like, just throw the entire box in. No? It looks, look at the oven, it says, Love You, Mom, by Chloe. She 
She hates it. Good to see Drew doing well. Aww. And Nathan's coming to talk to Samantha. But... Love Chloe. Oh shit, the lighthouse. Isn't this the theme from the original Life is Strange? Oh shit, it's Chloe's room. <laughs> I can see the blue tie. Oh yeah. She's got linked up now. Oh, and that Twin Peaks license plate and everything. Got original Chloe now. It kind of sucks what happens to um, to the girls in the in the main game, but this is not the end of. Life is Strange Before the Storm because there's still that bonus episode Farewell which is coming whenever and it's the return of Max and Chloe for the last time because Life is Strange 2 is not their their story so yeah that's that would be the last one but this this has been a good ride it's a feel good ride, isn't it? Like, I love Chloe and I love Rachel now. Add, add them on to Max, who's one of my favorite characters now. So, I guess we'll see you guys in farewell then. Well, also, we can. We should see our stats. Oh. There's only one big choice, and that is who. 
Oh, we didn't tell Rachel the truth. Not like most of peop most people. Hmm. Interesting. The only one that we did different from people is that we were mean to Joyce. Okay. Um, next. You killed the plan to... <laughs> okay, so... Awake, we took... We didn't take the money. Um, we purchased the pot from... We didn't buy the pot. Couldn't take the money. Didn't read Joyce's self-help book. Put the photo of William. Uh, didn't slip the, slip the money into Joyce's purse because we don't fucking know about the money. Uh, so why would you tell Skip you hated his demo? Piece of shit. That 1%. Uh, sabotage Victoria's homework. Really? More people didn't. All right, Brave New World. Uh, intended to go. Huh, refused to start over. You put the singing man on the dashboard of the truck. I didn't pay my debt off to Frank. I didn't tell Steph that Rachel was single. Didn't return Drew's money. I told Samantha to give Nathan space. Um, and c confronted Victoria before the play. Tell Rachel you'd like to go on a road trip. Even though we know that in the main game they went to uh they went to uh they went to their their plan was to go to LA and then Rachel attacked James. I killed the planter's soda instead of neglect. I took David's photograph. I gave Drew's money to Damon. Uh, you sparred with Drew of a pudding. Why wouldn't you? I'm sorry, firefighters. I don't have the money. You revealed to Damon that Thunder was the true snitch. And Rachel didn't meet her mother. <sighs> Wait. Oh, you had to tell her to stay and everything. All right. <laughs> Oh, these are the pictures that are hanging on Chloe's um, car or, or house, right? Shit. Oh no, don't don't show shit like this, man. Come on, not, not after the happy ending. Fuck you, Nathan. Fuck you. Wait, so we can't go to, uh... So I can't go to, uh... That collector's mode. Huh, so I get to, like, go collect stuff. Alright. That's before the storm. Um, we'll see you guys when farewell drops. <laughs>